but but back to this 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 concept of living a long time you know i i i believe that this artificial intelligence early detection and big data one of the things that we're able to do now is we're able to go into the body and we're able to test for all of these things that we were previously not looking at mold mycotoxins heavy metals viruses parasites which all of us have guys just accept that we, we we all have these these pathogens and we can go in and we can rid the body of these things and what happens when we rid the body of these things what, the immune system now gets a leg up right because it's not fighting on so many fronts you know it's like you put the best fighter in the world in the center of the octagon if you just keep adding opponents you know to that to that ring eventually they're going to collapse right they can only fight on so many fronts the immune system is no different right it's it's policing our body for senescent cells it's going after zombie cells it's it's um you know there's a new in, in, in invader that's come in uh you know a, a virus or a parasite or a pathogen the the gut is starting to leak so now it's a, got a war right outside of your uh, uh, leaky gut. And so it starts to fight on so many fronts that it gets weak and it begins to collapse. This is when a lot of these viruses start to resurge later in life. But what about the hygiene hypothesis that suggests that people do need to get certain sicknesses and viruses and stuff like that so then they can train their immune system to then be able to fight it off? That's why a lot of people during COVID, when they stayed indoors, they all got sick afterwards because they they didn't have all of these influences and yeah, stuff I mean, 